Hello everybody, and welcome back to our little patch of dirt. Today I want to cover seed starting containers. There's a million options out there. When I started gardening in the 70s with my mom back in Arizona, didn't matter where we lived, we always had some sort of garden. And the only option that was available were the black seed cells. Now they work great, don't get me wrong. The problem is, over the years the plastic has gotten weaker, they don't last as long, and they break down. A couple years ago we moved to these little 4x4s. You know, they worked great, but eventually they break down also. So this year we're going to try something new. Biodegradable net bags. I've watched quite a few videos on them, some good, some bad. You can get these for about 15 to 20 cents a piece. And these are about 30 cents a piece. Or you have the old red solo cup. The thing that sold me on these were the cost. Smaller bags cost about two cents a piece. The larger one's about four. These work great. Problem is, they last a year or two, they break down. It doesn't matter which of these methods you choose, eventually they're all going to end up in the same place the landfill. By using the biodegradable bags, we hope to not generate as much waste. One of my biggest fears was my goofy gorilla hands. We're just going to tear these apart. They're pretty sturdy. One issue I don't like is to make them, you fold the tops over. And it can be very tedious, especially if you're doing hundreds a day. To fill them, if you try to do it like you would any other pot, it just doesn't work. So me, being the lazy person I am, there's got to be a better way. Take my old broke cup and a piece of PVC. Slide the PVC in. Just fill it up. It took a great amount of mathematical equations and calculations to figure out the proper size of this PVC, or as we call it, trial and error. Fill bag. The one issue I have with these is they don't like to stand up. Now, there may be a better way out there. You can get them to stand up. But it becomes a pain. The larger bags still recommended you fold them over. The larger bags require a bigger piece of PVC. Again, great mathematical computations went into figuring out the length of this. Now there's probably better ways to do it. Lord knows I'm not a rocket genius. The larger ones stand up much better. Another fear I have with these is it's very tightly woven fabric and I'm afraid if it doesn't break down enough the roots may have an issue coming through the bag.
how quick they break down will be another factor on whether they are sustainable in the garden or not. I tried the hard composting pots. They were pretty cost ineffective. And two or three years later, I was still finding pieces of them in the garden. So they weren't really breaking down that well. I had a lot of plants get root bound in them. I don't even have any more of them, so I didn't even bring any out. Time will tell on these. You know, next year when I'm tilling up the garden, will these be clogging up my tiller? No one knows yet. Will they last in water in my seed trays? No one knows yet. In a standard seed tray, you can fit 72 cells. On the smaller size of the bags, you can fit 70 in a standard tray. The larger bags, you can fit 21 in a standard seed tray. The issues I have with these is when it comes time to transplant or even market them, you have a limited time your plants can stay in these. They get root bound, stunts their growth, or you're out in the garden, you gotta squeeze each one of these, grab it, throw it in the ground. These, they work great. They're getting pretty cross prohibitive. One of the biggest things we hope to accomplish by using these is saving time. As one of my favorite goblins used to say, time is money, friend. Some of y'all get that reference. So these are a totally new product for us. We are still working out some kinks and bugs. So far, they'll seem to fit into our seed starting program pretty well. As for the rest, only time can tell. Thanks for spending time with us out here in the greenhouse at our little patch of dirt. If you have any comments, questions, complaints, post them below. We'll read them and get back to you as soon as we can. If you like the video, throw a rock and hit that like button. If you really like it, subscribe.